to my garden. I'm going to give you a demonstration, a quick one, of the five Tibetan yoga exercises that, keep, that will keep your body in good health. The philosophy behind these five exercises is that when you do them 21 times each, they spin up your seven chakras. And once your seven chakras go on high speed, they relate to your seven hormone glands. And they also speed up. Once all your hormone glands are on full speed, a total hormone balance is the result and eventually good health. The first exercise we do standing up. Spread your arms, stretch your fingers and make an angle of 90 degrees. Turn your body around clockwise 21 times. And so on. When you start these exercises, start with three times each exercise a week. Then the next week you take them on to five times and the third week seven times. And so you build it up till every week two times more till you are on 21. If you don't do that, they are probably be too heavy for you and you will look, look up to them and you will leave them in a corner and that would be a pity. So take my advice and build them up with two extra each week. The second exercise, we lay on our backs. Stretch your arms and fingers. Now this is a breathing exercise also. So when I bring my legs and head up, I inhale. And when I'm in this position, I breathe out. So the first one goes like this. Breathe in. Make an angle of 90 degrees, knees straight and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And so on 21 times. The third exercise you do standing on your knees. Put your hands at the end of your leg. Bring your head backwards so the heart area opens up. And once you do that, you breathe in. And breathe out. out and roll your chin all the way to your chest and breathe in and breathe out. The fourth exercise you do sitting on a yoga mat or just a pillow like I do. Put your hands beside your bottom, beside your hips and now you're going to bring your belly up and when you do that you throw your head backwards and you breathe in. And breathe out. Now the position of the feet stay more or less where they are. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. The last 
last exercise is called a dog in yoga. It goes like this. I prefer not to put my hands on the pillow now because that gives them extra on the, on, on the wrists. So put it next. You're in, you breathe out now. And when you, once you come up, you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So, these were your five Tibetan rides. I do them for 14 years already. They brought me good, excellent health, and I hope they will bring it to you too.